Join us and help us continue to support the many talented people of our community. Learn how to get your business highlighted on Lacrosse Local. Go to lacrosselocal.com and click on advertise. The Frozen River Film Festival is taking place February 5th through 12th in Winona, Minnesota. Nearly 50 feature and short form documentary films that will take you to the heart of current events, the forefront of social change, and distinct cultures in an increasingly global community. For tickets and more information, visit frff.org. Join us at the Lacrosse Winter Roots Festival Saturday, February 11th at the Lacrosse Center. We'll celebrate Wisconsin favorites in music, cuisine, local beer, and spirits. Grab tickets at lacrosselocal.com. The Pump House Regional Arts Center brings you live, heartfelt performances from gifted singer-songwriters. Enjoy original music brought to stage by area mainstay musicians and sought-after regional bands. Check out the concert series online and pick up your tickets at thepumphouse.org. We jumped on a call with Ceramica, art by Jessica Lidke. We talked about what led the artist to ceramics and her process when making functional work like bowls, cups, and platters. Catch Ceramica at the 2023 Lacrosse Winter Roots Festival on February 11th. You can find more conversations, food reviews, live music, weekend picks, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. Well, I'm Jessica Lidke. My business is Ceramica. I was born in Lacrosse. I'm a Logan High School graduate and uh, also studied at UWL. I graduated from there with a uh, art and communications major. I started as a business major, but kept wanting to spend all my time in the ceramics room. So that's where I spent most of my days. At your Facebook page, I'm you know seeing bowls, cups, platters. How do you work? Do you do a number of them at once or do you jump around or what's your process like? Um, yeah, I mostly try to think out what I want to start for the day. I try to do, like if I'm doing mugs, I try to do 20 in the morning and then maybe switch to something else for the afternoon. But a lot of it is seasonal. So depending on the season is what I'm usually working on. So do you admire other ceramist work? Do you follow anybody else that you're kind of into or... Is this kind of your own thing? Um, no, actually, my my Instagram, I all the people I follow are pretty much other artists and other potters around the world. Yeah, it's good to get inspiration and new ideas from other people's work, I think. But I feel like every potter has kind of its own their own style anyways, no matter if they're looking for inspiration or not. I also see vases also, you know, like outdoor sort of stuff that you could put out and put stuff on top of. How do you come up with ideas? You know, what's the process like? Do you draw this stuff out or is this something you see and you try to whip something up? Uh, yeah, a lot of trial and error. Um, I'm mostly inspired by nature. So I do do a lot of planters and bird baths. I do some sketching, but not a whole lot as Probably not as much as I should. <laughs> I kind of uh, just try to go with it a lot of times. So people can catch you at the 2023 Lacrosse Winter Roots Festival. What would people be able to see at that market? What are you working on right now putting together? Is there anything that's <laughs> seasonal? or? Yeah, winter winter's a little bit harder, but I am doing, I'll have my usual stuff, coffee mugs soup mugs. Uh, I'm doing some spoon rests, ring holders, little trinkets and stuff. But I was working on some, uh, actually a few specialty jars uh, with animals. Hmm. I've been uh, working on a big owl jar, cut out bases, kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of a mix. How do people normally pick up your work? Is it mostly these local area shows or do you sell online or what's the process like for that? I get a lot of business through Facebook and Instagram or um, a lot of custom orders from vendor events. 
I don't get a ton of time to work. So I've been uh, trying to just keep up with uh, the few shows I do get into. I also am, have two, three stores where I sell my products. Johnson's Living in La Crescent, Johnson Makers Market in Eau Claire, and a Bellissimo Hair Salon on the north side. So, you know, you mentioned uh, Instagram. What's the best avenue for people to follow along with you? Maybe if they want to see you at a show or pick up some of your work. Yeah, Facebook or Instagram for now. I, I do have a website started, but I haven't launched it because I don't have a lot to sell off of there. But I definitely should uh, release it anyway so people can see my events more easily. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Local. Find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com. And you can subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We appreciate it.